talk for long, though. I'm packing. Typical, Rodney. Every major crisis we ever had, you always did turn into an indecisive jelly. I did not. I simply tried to listen to what Bernice had to say, instead of merely ranting at her like you did. But this wasn't the time to listen to her. This was the time to point out that she could ruin her whole yeah, life. I did point that out, and she pointed out that Ashley could too, and maybe it was worse for him. What can I say to that? Argue with her. It's true. Then lie. Anyway, I'm not sure it is true. He's a man. It's always easier for men to do anything. But then there's this whole church thing. We've been here before, haven't we? We thought we'd put this one to bed, but we haven't. Bernice is leaving. She was... walking away from the baby, then. Oh, so this is better, is it? Now she's taking the baby with her and walking away from us. And I get to lose both of them. Maybe he'll persuade her to stay. You won't make me change my mind. I haven't come here to make you change your mind. Why have you come, then? All right. Maybe I've come to make sure that you're absolutely certain... I knew it! I haven't made a single decision in the last year without you trying to undermine it. That's not true! Yes, it is! I decided that my marriage was over, that you'd fallen in love with someone else, so then you ditched him. I decided that the baby was his. I coped. Barely, but I coped. Then you told me she was mine. I accepted that even though she was mine, you were going to bring her up without me. So then you wheedled your way back into my bed, into my life. I decided I had a marriage again. I made a commitment to be a full-time father after all. Then I found out you weren't getting on with the baby. You were going to leave us. So I decided to help you through it. And then you ditched me, took Gabby away again. I decided to get a divorce, to make a bid to be separate from you. But you keep talking to me and confiding in me and crying all over me so I can't think straight and I'm not separate. So finally, I decide to go. And now you come here to try and sabotage that too when you're not going to. Do you hear me? You're not going to. He won't shift, you know. You don't know that. I do. I talked to him earlier. He's had enough. He's off. Oh, she can be very persuasive. It's that that he's had enough of. You can see why she feels she ought to go, though, can't you? All that guilt. She feels in the wrong. I don't care who's in the wrong. If one of them's got to go, I want it to be him. I mean, I'm fond of Ashley, but Bernice... She's my whole life. Yeah. Well, maybe she shouldn't be. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe it's time you got beyond that. How dare you? Well, if it's getting in the way of the facts, I mean. If it's stopping you from supporting Bernice when all she's trying to do is what she thinks is best. I mean, God knows I love Bernice myself, but not so, so blindly that it interferes with my vision. Oh, so we're Mr Objective all of a sudden, are we? Rodney the Selfless. I'm not just saying this for Bernice's sake, Diane. I'm saying it for yours, too. You... You've always been too attached to Bernice. She's not a little girl anymore. It's time to let go. Move on. Get yourself a life. You patronising git. It's easy for you to say that, isn't it, Mr Magic Dad? Of course it's easy for you to let go, because you let go when she was six years old. You've only just got hold of her again. But I've given my heart and soul and blood to Bernice for 33 years! I know that, I know that, Diane, and I'm not patronising you, I promise. I, I care about you too much for that. That's why I'm telling you. It's time to move on. It's different this time. All those other times when I turned everything upside down. I wasn't thinking, I was just doing what I felt at the time. Great. My life destroyed by your whims. Yes, but we've been over this before. This time, I'm not being selfish. I'm thinking. And I'm not thinking about me, I'm thinking about you. Oh, so it's Saint Bernice now, is it? There are two reasons why you shouldn't leave this village. The first is that you're a fantastic vicar. That's rubbish. I do the job to the best of my ability, but I'm nothing special. You can't judge that as well as I can. Oh, and how many vicars is it you know exactly? I've forgotten. I've spoken to enough of your parishioners. They've told me what you like when they're in trouble, when they need help, support. I've told you I do my job. 
but not everybody has that empathy. That's the word, isn't it? All those people. They'd be devastated you're leaving. I spoke to Edna this morning. Oh, Edna Birch, Gloria Weaver, every parish is full of middle-aged women like them. All of them half besotted with their vicar. That's loneliness, the romance of the cloth. Edna's no romantic and you know it. Anyway, they'll get another vicar. One with a more reliable private life than mine. And maybe one day I'll get another parish. You know you might not. You said yourself that the bishop was angry with you. No, it's very likely that I won't. But that's a risk I'll have to take, isn't it? Ashley, you're saying it like it means nothing because you're angry. But you know it would finish you. Not to be able to preach anymore in what you believe in so much. Staying here is what would finish me, Bernice. Do you know, I can hardly find God anymore because the world is so full of you. I need to go somewhere that's empty of you. What about Gabrielle? Because she's the other reason. I want to go somewhere that's empty of her too. No. In fact, when I even think of not seeing her every day, I start to feel sick inside. I go numb. But if that's what I have to do to get better, then that's what I have to do. Better that Gabrielle should have a father she only sees part-time, but who has his identity and his pride and his self-respect intact, than she should have a full-time father who's just your puppet. Do you see now? Have I convinced you at last it's so glaringly obvious that I should go? No. But what is glaringly obvious is that you need very badly to get away from me. Well, then? But what you haven't explained is why you should go rather than me. You? Yes. Why not? Why shouldn't I go instead? Oh, for goodness sake, Bernice, this isn't a game! Was this another ploy to get me to stay? No, I mean it. I think I should go. Don't be silly, you can't go. Why not? You live here. So do you. You have family here. Your mum, your dad, even he settled here. Nicola. Oh, I don't know why I'm even bothering it. What about the pub? That pub you're so obsessed with. You'd never dream of going. Wouldn't I? All right. If I'm honest, I came here today to try and persuade you to stay. To see if there was some way that we could live in this village together. I thought... Perhaps if I kept out of his way. Perhaps if I promised not to use him anymore. Yes, I do use you. I know that. It's hard not to. You've been my best friend for so long. But there's too much history. Too much bitterness in you. It would never work. I can see that now. So I also came ready to say that I would go if I had to. And I will. The pub. Mum can run it. I love it, but it's only a pub. It's only bricks and mortar. I can pour pints anywhere. It's not like losing your parish, is it? I know you're covering it up, but that really is like... Losing a child. Yes, it is. I know. So I can't let you do it. And what about my Gabrielle? What about her? We'll be all right. I've got a bit of money saved. I mean, I still have to work, at least part-time, to pay for somewhere to live. And also, if I'm honest, because I want to. If I couldn't work, I'd be a right old grouch. I love Gabrielle so much now. I know I can make her happy. I'll make sure I spend plenty of time with her. But it's the quality of time that really counts, isn't it? You taught me that. That's what I keep telling myself. Oh, Ashley. You'll still be able to see her. You can come and visit as often as you like. Or I'll bring her here to visit you. Doesn't make any difference to that part of it, does it? Which one of us goes? No. No, it doesn't. Oh, and Ashley. I can't believe I'm saying this so soon after, you know, how I was... Having her with me is what will make it easier to cope. She's such a joy to me now. She'll be my reason for getting up in the morning. Will she? Oh, Bernice, how can you be so selfish? What? What? 
Oh, you just can't help it, can you? This is so typical of you. Even when you're trying to make amends to someone, to be fair, at last, to me, you get so carried away by your own heroism that you end up creating a new casualty. You're not really thinking about Gabrielle at all, are you? Yeah, of course, I'd have the same access to her. That's a PC word, isn't it? Whether you go or I go. But I'm not Gabrielle's only family. Gabby's got a grandma, remember, and a granddad who absolutely dotes on her, and an aunt, and a childminder who she loves, and a whole little circle of friends and admirers, a stable environment, a routine. And you're going to uproot her, are you? Take her away from everyone who loves her and everything she knows in exchange for what? For life with her mum, who loves her too. A mum who's broke and having to work? Who's exhausted most of the time? Who's got no backup or support from those times when she's so strained and tired she's got nothing left to give? Who's really the sacrifice here, Bernice? You or her? Shall I cook us something? Hmm? What's got into you? Nice fry-up with some toast. Just to tide us over while we wait for her. Why are you so blooming cheerful all of a sudden? I've been thinking, that's all. I know she won't persuade him to stay, but I suddenly don't believe she'll go and take Gabby away from us either. Bernice has always had this thing about family, because... Well, because of us, really, never having had it herself. Well, I hope... For your sake. You're right, Diane. I know I am. One egg or two? No, I think I'll just stick to the toast, Diane. Unless I'm cooking it. Hmm. I didn't see it, did I? It's all right. <laughs> Even now, when I think I'm being a good mum, a proper mum, I still don't see what you see. I never see the obvious about taking her away from her family. You are a good mum. Oh, you just got carried away, that's all. I can see it now. Oh, doing that thing again, aren't I? Crying all over you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I do have to get away from you, you know. I know. Don't worry, Ashley. I'll still go. Everything I said before about it being fairer for me to go rather than you, that still stands. I just have to go without Gabrielle, that's all. I should be better off with you anyway. Uh, I'm still a dap ham with a frying pan, even though I set myself. Great. There we are, eggs sunny side up and bacon, nice and crispy, just how you like it. Smashing. <laughs> I don't really fancy it anymore. You've got to let me do it, Ashley. I'm so tired of always being in the wrong. But this is wrong for Gabrielle. Is it? Of course. You're her mother, she needs you. You're better at it than I am. Oh, I thought you got over all that. Uh, <laughs> I don't mean loving her. I know you don't love her any more than I do. Because now no one could. But if one of us is going to stay with her, then it should be you. You're just a better parent than I am, aren't you? You'll never admit it, but you know you are. All those people that say that all women are born mothers because it goes with the bits are talking rubbish because they aren't, even when they want to be. You're a natural, I'm not. But you're still her mum. It'd cut you to shreds, you know. I know. Like it would do you. Let me go, Ashley. I feel so much guilt about you, I can hardly look you in the face anymore. Or anyone else in this village. I've nearly destroyed your whole life. I can't stand by and let you finish the job off. This is better for you. And it's the very best we can do for Gabrielle. Are we talking about me bringing her up? Me seeing her walk? Her first day at school, learning to read, making friends, falling out with them, all of it. All of it. Me being there, not you. 
Yes. We talked about it before, you know, when I was running away, when I was scared. This time, I'm not running. It's my choice. You'll be there. And you'll be brilliant at it. It won't be like Mum and Dad, because you won't shut me out. Well, I won't let you. <laughs> Writing, visiting, on the end of the phone. And sometimes I'll be there too. That first bra we talked about, remember? <laughs> hope I'm there for that. I hope so too. Let me do the right thing, Ashley. For once, please. again, where we began, where you and I were born. How many times have we stood on this bridge? Hard to believe we never will again. In friendship, maybe, one day. I hope so. We'll be able to stand here with Gabrielle. Denise, are you still sure? Yeah. But I'm going to go quickly. You know me. I've always been one for getting things over with. Like when I was a little girl, I used to make Mum rip the plasters off. I've never been one for the slow peel away. No. No, all right, leave me. Where will you go? I'm not sure. I've only got one idea. I'll let you know in the morning if it works out. Then I'll go. Do you regret it all? Now we're at the end of it. No. And here's do I. Really, I don't. And we've got Gabrielle. Yeah. Still sure? I need to see her a lot, though. Of course. What, what if you change your mind? I won't. I'm not that selfish. She's going to live with her dad. Who's the best person for her to live with. That's our decision. You get the hard job, making her eat her greens and wear a vest. And I get the glamorous one, spoiling her to death on visits, right? Right. I'm going to go and tell Mum and Dad now. I'm scared of telling Mum. Do you want me to come with you? Help you to tell her? No. See these? These are my own two feet that I'm learning to stand on. Come on. I'll walk you to the pub. Do you think it's our fault? No. It's just bad luck. The sins of the parents. Oh, come on, Diane. You're getting maudling. Any minute now, she's going to walk through that door and say, I couldn't get him to stay. But he wouldn't let me go either. He's going. It's tough, but it's OK. I accept it. If I go tomorrow, I'll... I'll let you know when you can get Gabrielle. Right. Goodbye. There you are, you see, I told you. You didn't get anywhere, did you? You're still going. No, Mum, I'm going. You silly, silly, stupid little girl! He would have gone. He was prepared to go. He decided. He'd made up his mind. What about your life here? You had a home here. The best you've ever had. 
The happiest you've ever been. The most you've ever put down roots. What about your home, Bernice? What about your family? I'm sorry. What about me? Dad, that job you said was going for Nicola on the cruise ship, starting straight away. Is it still open, do you think? Could you swing it for me? A cruise ship? You're taking Gabby on a cruise ship? What kind of life is that for a child? By God, I've heard some things come out of your mouth. I'm not taking this... Gabrielle. Ashley's going to bring her up. And before you say anything, it's not like it was before because I don't want to, because I do. It's because he'll be better at it than me. And because you're both here, and you'll all make her happier than I ever will. Dad, can you help the job? Yeah, I'm sure I can. I'll phone first thing in the morning. I'm so sorry, Mum. I love you, but I've got to go. I'll come with you. I'll come with you. And I'll... No, no, Mum. It's no good. I'm a big girl now. You see these? My own two feet. Long last. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to go out and spend some time with Gabrielle. Talk to you tomorrow. I love you. Both of you. I'll never forgive you for this. Never. Gabrielle. Gabrielle, I've got to go away. Tomorrow, probably. We both can't stay here with you, you see. It's better that I go. Cos you'll be happier here with Daddy. Don't hate me, Gabrielle. <laughs> Promise me you won't hate me when you grow up. Cos... Shall I tell you why I'm really going? More than anything else. Of course you won't tell. It's because I already hate myself. So I couldn't bear it if you hated me too. I'll still see you whenever I can. And I'll think about you all the time. All the time. And I'll miss you all the time. See, in the beginning, Gabrielle, are you listening? I didn't love you. But I do love you now. Very much. My little baby. Very, very much. <laughs> 